Hi everyone, I want to share a haul video with you. Um, I went to the flea market and I didn't really find anything. I knew I didn't want to go a bunch of places. Like I said in one of my previous videos, I just haven't been um, garage selling and or yard selling and um, thrifting like um, I was before. I feel like um, I have a lot of nice things already. So, um, but I do like to see what's out and if there is anything and it's a good price and I know I could use it, um, I do pick it up. And, um, and milk glass, I love milk glass. I don't think I ever could, like, uh, make a, I, I don't think I'll ever make a video saying, oh, I'm done with milk glass, um, hunting or because if I see, I'm not going out specifically for that, but if I do see a piece that's something, um, I would like to have or I don't have, or let's say you want duplicates of because you're trying to do a, a meal with it and you need a certain amount. Now, I, I will do that. But um, let me start sharing what I found. Um, I went to, I think, a total of three places. And, um, yeah, three places. And one of the places was, it was only one garage sale that I visited. And this is what I got. She had this beautiful, let me stand back, this really big... Um, arrangement that she made and you can see the the angel in there beautiful I'm telling you this and it was not I mean nothing none of the leaves were broken off or petals or it wasn't balled up and she she said she made this for Christmas last year her and her husband and um, I just really like this and it was two dollars so I could not pass this up and I do a lot of red on my tree red with gold and silver and have a lot of sparkly pieces so this is going to be good for my fireplace or something this year but it's so big I can't really get this whole thing in but I just want you to know I love this and while I was there I also picked for a dollar fifty was these candles and they're like the flameless ones and let me turn them on they're scented as well they smell like vanilla and I just lit one of them up for you and I love the crosses on the front I love crosses so that's beautiful. That was that sale. Okay, I'm going to move those over to the side. Then um, me and my little one went to Goodwill. And I've been um, collecting pieces of um, the French made. Um, it's uh, Arrow. I'm trying to see where they have the name pressed in. But these are the, this is the milk glass pieces that are made in um, France. I have some white and, and some black. I have some large serving bowls in this octagon shape and so I found some more of those because I'm trying to get a nice dinner. I can't ever find a dinner plate and I do have a couple but they have like a few scratches on them. These pieces, the bowls seem to be in perfect um, shape and I have found some cups before. So there was three more, um, excuse me, four more cups and these plates and the cups were, I think they were under the, the ticket for um, Goodwill being blue this week was half off so I got these for like I think a dollar ninety nine and these were like ninety nine cent. So I picked those up and let me see what else did I get from Goodwill? I think that's oh I found another one of these and I have two of these but I love these and they look so pretty in my display. Um, I just like the pattern and I like how the uh, scallop looks like a crown on the top they are just really pretty. Now, I have a story about the next few pieces I'm going to show you, and I'm going to put one piece to the side. I have gone to Thrift Village, and I found one of these. I have one on my shelf, but I, like I said, I love this pattern. So I found one of these on the shelf, and it was five, marked $5. And then when I got up to the front, I looked in their locked display case, and they had another one. But this one was marked for $10. So one of them is... This was the five dollar one. The one that was marked for ten dollars is actually stamped on the bottom with Fenton, and it had a paper sticker in it. But um, when I went up to ask the lady, I was like, "This is still ten ten dollars or whatever." She told me a whole story about the person that labels the glass, or I guess prices the glass, doesn't know what she's doing. So um, that piece was marked. She made a mistake and marked that piece five dollars. So the cashier was trying to, she said, well, you know, this, can't she get the other one for $5 too? Because they're the same exact piece. 
So because she couldn't say anything about they weren't the same piece, she went into, because um, they both have the same patent number on the bottom, she went into, well, this one still has the paper sticker in it. So it has to stay $10. So because I really love this piece and they're they're fencing and I know they're heavy and you know they have good qual you know they're good quality pieces of glass I went on and I bought it but then this is where you know and I was a little upset about it I'm not gonna lie to you and then um, when I walked up and was getting ready to leave after purchasing these pieces I looked in the case and saw this other piece that I have a big beautiful vase to if you know about the swung vases where they have that thrown milk in slow motion um, kind of look to the, the tops of them like splashed milk or whatever I have a huge one that is on my display case my display in my liver on one of my shelves and um, so I saw this piece marked for two dollars and I asked the lady to come over and I said can um, I have a look at that and I said you know I said you don't have to pull it out because it's pretty big I said but can you just tell me how much the price is and she said two dollars when she said two dollars I said oh I definitely want that let me show it to you let me stand back. It's this this uh, um, picture here. And like I said, I have the large base to this. I have all of my fencing pieces in my living room, so I knew I had a place for this. And I was so excited at $2. So see, you might have got me on this right here. But guess what? I got this for $2. So when I saw that, I said, you know what? Not even going to complain about it. I got a good deal anyway. So I wanted to share that with you guys. And that was the same... Then I went to, um, no, I think I got this other stuff from Goodwill. So anyway, I went to another um, thrift store another day, and I found these two little um, Corningware dishes. That they're the same size. They're these little small ones, and they were 25 cents, and I wanted to add those to my Corningware dishes. Um, I also found, oops, so I'm going to break that. I found another one of these. And I love this because I have a lot of these pieces. I kept all of my great themed pieces in my dining room, and I had another one of these, so I added this to it. And I think that was a, I think it was three dollars or something. Then at a yard sale a couple weeks ago, I forgot to show. I didn't. I don't think I did a video then. I got this at a yard sale for um, one dollar, and it opens up. And it, it's actually not a vintage piece or anything. It looks like it was purchased at Marshalls. But I like that because my grape pieces are in my dining room and I also have some of my silver and some of it has like grapes around the edge. So that works there. And while at Goodwill yesterday, I found this grape theme that looks perfect with this. Um, it's a um, wine. It's like a, it was from Pier 1 originally. You can see it for $8. And it's like a wine, like a, excuse me, a cheese service set. And it comes with um, one cheese pen, two cheese markers, and four blank marker cards. So I thought this was good, and I paid $1.99 for that. And that looks really nice with that. And then, like most, like I said, most of my pieces in my dining room have the grape theme, so I thought that worked great. And at the same yard sale I got this from, I had gotten this beautiful platter type bowl with the handles and I don't think this is vintage or anything I know that it is made in Italy I think I have that upset yeah made in Italy and um, I just love this I have put waffle sticks in here everything looks pretty in this bowl it's just so pretty okay so I got that and I'm starting to get limited on space at Goodwill, my little one spotted a two-pack set of these. They still have the original, like, crystal sticker, and they're made in France, it said. And um, she saw these. They were taped together. I think we ended up getting them for $0.99. Cent. But she picked these up, and I came home and washed them, and they are really pretty. I love sparkly things like that. And while I'm on the subject of sparkly things, um, I went to this one um, thrift store um, that I did go to on Saturday. And I, I like these when I pick, I love these pieces because they look like ice cubes. And what I usually do is put them in like one of those large martini glasses or the, that you get from like Michael's, those oversized ones. I like to put these in there and have like the ice cube effect in there and put in a room. I think they make a nice statement on the table or just sitting down. Well, okay, I didn't just get these four. Look how many I actually ended up with. These trying to stack these real quick for you guys 
For 25 cents, I ended up getting all of these. And um, there were 25 cents each, and there was a ton more left, but I left them because I went through each one individually and made sure there was no breaks or anything in them, okay? And then I'm going to show you um, this piece of milk glass I got for 25 cents, too. And then let me show you these uh, the last two pieces I have. And sorry for moving around. I have my iPad with one hand, and I'm trying to do this. Now, this vintage thing I loved. I found this um, double egg holder, and I got this for $1.99, and I looked it up online, and it is vintage, and they were it was for listed for $25, and it's made in, hold on, let me drop that on that, it's made in, it says it's painted in Portugal from Telefora, and it's um, hand painted, so I thought this was an excellent buy, and I like this because a lot of my Jennifer Grant pieces um, of artwork, if you can see back there, they have like roosters and chickens and all that kind of thing on them. So I felt like that was a great buy at $1.99. And then this is what I was really happy about. Um, I picked up this and I paid five, I think $5.99 for it. And it's actually, I don't have any domed um, cake stands or anything like that. And I was always holding out for like a crystal one or something like that. This, But I saw this one and I, I have, I love strawberries. My mom tells me that's what my birthmark is, is a strawberry, but I love them. And so um, when I saw this, I was instantly interested in it. And it was in a clear bag, and I saw the $5.99 sticker, and it's actually a domed cake plate. And I looked this up, and I couldn't find, like I saw this one, and all they were on that listing, it was like for an auction, I guess. And they were saying um, $27 for shipping for it. But then um, I looked up one that was, and I did see one similar, and they were saying it was a vintage piece, and they were saying that it was, um, that one was listed for $75, and this is um, by Cardinal Ink, and as you can see, at the time or wherever this was from, it was $34.99. So, um, pretty excited about this piece. Well, that's my haul, and I want to thank you guys for watching. God bless you. Have a great day. And I hope you enjoyed this video.